The first set of expectations should be related to an interest or a talent or a strength, something that the child or teen enjoys and does well. We want to ask them, what goal would you like to put out for yourself regarding this thing that you're good at and you like to do? What do the adults think the youngster can handle? Make an agreement about this, write it down, and check in weekly about it. Weekly check-ins are a very important time to be able to assess how things are going, how things are working, so that we don't have to have periods of intense acting out because the child feels like no one's listening or paying attention. The second set of expectations should be related to an area that is more challenging, something that your student either doesn't enjoy or struggles with. What goals would be realistic to set here? For example, if your teen loves and math and is taking an advanced math class, what are their hopes for the performance on this subject? By the same you know, token, if they're also dyslexic and English is tough, what would be appropriate goals for that class? Things don't have to be the same. They don't have to be equal. But the process of talking about these issues and making doable plans works best when there is consistency. Now, as those, those of you who are familiar my, with my work know my five C's, self-control, compassion, collaboration, consistency, and celebration. Consistency is not about perfection. Consistency is about steadiness. Consistency is about efforting, the, the integrative process of using your body and your mind and your emotions to work together on a task or a project um, towards, um, you know, obviously completion, but maybe not completion, maybe just actually being engaged is, a, is could be a better goal for your kids.